We will start with a simple pranayama exercise. Pranayama is the work on your energy body, expanding your energy. And our focus is the pelvic floor. Make sure that you sit comfortably. Cross-legged is a comfortable position. You can sit on your hands and find those bony parts. Those are your sit bones. Sit in front of your sit bones. So there's a slight back bend that just allows your tailbone to be released down so you're not tacking the tailbone, the bottom part of the spine. And then you bring your navel in and up, shoulder blades down, chin in, head back. So the top back part of the head, the bindu point, comes back and up and you feel so much superior. Sitting on straight, notice your breath. You may close your eyes if you choose to, or simply find a point of focus with the eyes. And bring your attention all the way down to your pelvic floor. So if this is new for you, just notice with your mind, with your intention, with your thought, just bring that attention down to your pelvis, the center of your pelvis. Get out of the habit of paradoxical breathing. We're inhaling and we're inflating the belly. Exhaling and the navel, the belly button, comes back in. And as you inhale and you send your breath all the way down to the sacrum, the bottom part of the spine, the pelvic floor, with that inhale, just have that intention of relaxing all the muscles down there, those thin layers of muscle, As you exhale, have that intention of contracting everything, which is what actually happens with every exhale. That's why we call that part of us, the perineum down there, the pelvic diaphragm. Inhale, relax. And exhale, feel that you're contracting those muscles. Now, next time you inhale, and send that breath all the way down. And then next time you exhale, have that intention and that visualization of bringing the two bony points, the sit bones, at the bottom of the pelvis. Bring them in. Inhale, relax. Exhale, visualize the sit bones coming in. Inhale, relax. Now exhale and visualize the pubic bone at the front of the pelvis coming back and the tailbone at the back of the pelvis coming forward. Inhale, relax. And exhale, have that intention of bringing pubic bone back, tailbone forward. Inhale, relax. Make sure you're sitting up straight, face relaxed. Exhale, bring all four points inwards and contract the pelvic floor. Inhale, relax. And exhale, have that awareness down there, contracting everything, bringing everything in and up. Keep doing this, relaxing with every inhale and contracting everything with every exhale. The awareness is down there for the men we focus on the perineum, for the women we focus on the cervix. Inhaling, letting go of the engagement, and exhale, contract, bring the perineum up, the cervix up. Inhaling, 
inhale, relax. And exhale, bring all bony points in, contract the pelvic floor. Keep breathing in this way, and we will add the hands. So what we do is that we bring our arms to a parallel position to our shoulders, uh, palms facing down, palms actually facing our root, our perineum. And, with, and this time we're exhaling twice. So we're inhaling, relaxing, exhaling, engaging, exhaling, engaging. Inhale. So when you're ready, join. Exhale, exhale. Inhale, relax the pelvic floor. Exhale, contract, contract. together. Inhale, keep book back, tailbone forward. Inhale, all four points together. Two more minutes of this. Will help you build that awareness down there. You want to be able to consciously contract that pelvic floor muscles. <laughs> Sitting up straight, bend the point up and back, shoulder blades down. Inhaling down low. Exhale, contract. down low. Jaw relax. Eyebrows relax. Inner ears relax. Pelvic floor working. Inhale, relax. Exhale, contract. more. Exhale, exhale. Inhale. Four points together. Last one. Exhale, exhale. Hold, hold it all out. Bring bony points together, six bones together, pubic bone back. Bring tailbone forward. Squeeze it all in and up, 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 up. And then release. Stay still. Let it all integrate. Pelvic floor isolations will help you build more awareness. 
down low, your deep core muscles. And that's very important for keeping ourselves safe, staying strong and having awareness of our body. Once our deep core is strong, then everything is strong.